I'm Michael Fox, and this is the Prospector News Podcast, and we are on location at the current Trends in Mining Finance Conference put on by the New York chapter of the SME. And I'm uh, sitting across right now the president and CEO of Nile Bay Metals, Jean-Sebastian David. Welcome back, Jean. Hi, Mike. Uh, how are you? I'm I'm doing well. We're here in New York. Uh, it's a bright, sunny day. It is. Um, looks like, you know, almost a, a tempting of summer. I, I don't know. You've gotten a whole lot of summer up in northern Quebec. Uh, I certainly haven't seen any on a Prince Edward Island. So <laughs> it's nice to go someplace where summer exists. Well, maybe I must go to uh, Prince Edward Island because of the, I will say the last 20, 20 days where everywhere I go, it's sunny and plus 20, 20 celsius so uh <laughs> yes if that's the case come, come sooner than later <laughs> i don't know what's going on this year but uh yeah the the, the good uh, the good weather just following me good um for those people that aren't familiar with your company let's give them the uh the elevator pitch as to who you guys are what you're doing yeah we're a montreal-based company uh Nio Bay, uh we're focusing on, uh, we do have three assets. We're focusing only solely on uh, critical minerals. So we're talking about niobium mainly, tantalum, titanium, and phosphate. Wonderful. And uh, predominantly in Northern Quebec with the one project in Ontario. Yeah, we do have two assets uh, in, in Quebec. Uh, the Crevier project, which is in the Lac-Saint-Jean area. Uh, we also have the Futil, which is the, the rookie of the group, uh, the, the pretty close between uh, Sangney and Quebec City. And uh, the other one is the James B. Niobion project uh, in Ontario. Wonderful. Yeah, you mentioned Foothills, and you call it the rookie in the group, but I think it's uh, it's a candidate for the rookie of the year. There's a lot of exciting stuff happening on that. Oh, uh, really? Uh, actually, we uh, we have started to get to uh, we're we had uh, ten people in the field. Well, now we're averaging six six geos uh, in the field right now at uh, Foothill. Mm -hmm. We have started probably two three weeks ago. So we're doing. Uh, Kind of uh, grassroots exploration in that area. We're looking to uh, to poke some uh, new holes. Uh, we did release a pretty good uh, results. Uh, we'll say three three to four weeks ago on foothills. Uh, we resampling uh, the uh, the old core from the ore, and we find out that uh, it it is true that we can also find phosphate. So uh, there was um, a good intersection, uh, that type of rock that I'm looking, which is a Nelsonite. Uh, and the Nelsonite has a uh, phosphate in it and also uh, solid in ilmenite. So the ilmenite, this is where titanium is in. So those are the two type of rocks that I'm, uh, I'm looking for. And uh, so, so uh, what we released uh, a few a few weeks ago was uh, the proof that uh, we do have phosphate also on that uh, on that property. And uh, so my my crew they're looking on uh, to to not only on ilmenite but also on nelsonite. Uh, and uh, I would be uh, there tomorrow afternoon and uh, spend also Friday uh, on the property because uh, we uh, we have decided to uh, to push and to accelerate that project. We were supposed to do just uh, grassroots exploration this uh, this summer, but uh, seems that we have found some pretty good spot. Uh, and I was planning to drill next year, but we will drill this year. So. Uh, um, I already had a discussion with the First Nation uh, down there, uh, which is the uh, uh, Wandake, uh, the Wandak uh, uh, ban. And uh, yeah, uh, we, uh, we're we looking to go there probably uh, early fall, end of summer. So uh, I will also meet uh, the people that uh, one of the purpose of my visit is to visit the site, but also I have uh, a meeting Friday uh, with the community uh, to let them know that we're going to push that project and we're going to acceler accelerate the uh, and, uh, and planning to do some uh, a drilling campaign uh, 
uh, in a very short period of time. Yeah, that's uh, an area of Quebec where the First Nations are are very mining friendly. Um, so, do you foresee any issues uh, no, with the community? Not on that. No, 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 uh, no, no, no. I, I'm dealing with uh, the Saint Urbain, uh, and 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 just to let you know, the Saint Urbain. It's yeah, it's a recreation. It's a recreational area, but when people wants to do business. When they have, uh, let's say, uh, they they have an idea to put a heavy industry, they they push those people to Saint Urbain. This is where we are. So they have a they have a, 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 a an industrial park, and this is where the industrial park of the this Charlevoix area is. So I think that says it all. So so they want to look uh, to to see something. Uh, and the mining, uh, they uh, and they also have a a, a mine in in uh, in operation in that area. Citec, Citec has been uh, in operation for before Citec was the Baskaton mine, but Citec uh, they are in operation since 1973, 74. So they know the the, the mining business and they are and they're not against it. That's uh, that's always a good thing. You. Uh... Nothing like local opposition to slow down a project, so uh, so you can go full steam ahead when they're on your side. Yeah, and and that and this is going to be my second, uh, my, let's say my uh, my second talk with those guys. Uh, so uh, and I, I, right after the first one, I I was was feeling the openness of those people to see us uh, doing stuff uh in that area so uh so yeah uh and, and it's always you know i don't want to uh, you need to do those discussions before bringing all the all the equipment on, on the ground and yeah, yeah, uh but, that's, uh, but that, that's like, but that that's has been done and we're gonna have another discussion uh next friday that, that that's that's good thing yeah the last thing you want to do is just show up and say hey yeah. surprise <laughs> exactly you know, um, now the the project itself. Uh, you talk about the tantalum. You talk about the phosphate. Which which is the more prominent metal in the uh, in it, or is it fairly equal? Oh, <laughs> you know, we, we we're bringing a lot of good news uh, in, in uh, this year uh, with with Niobe. So so uh, we're focusing a lot on on niobium, but. You know, titanium for me, uh, and especially because of the uh, the prime minister has decided to uh, open the border to Bombardier and to Airbus. So those guys now can get their supply from Russia. So that means that we don't have enough titanium in Canada to supply our, uh, you know, airplane uh, producer, airplane uh, builders. So it's a shame. So, uh, so I will say to answer your question, titanium for now uh, is is for us. It's it is a, a big uh, big driver. Is a big uh, it's a it's a big target for us because we see that there's a there's a lot of potential. Yeah, no, no doubt. Uh, Montreal itself is a, a very huge aerospace hub. Yeah, it is. Um, how how big actually is it to the Quebec economy? Very good question. Uh, I, but I, we know that in Mirabel, they have uh, 3,000 people working there. So uh, try to find uh, 3,000 people <laughs> business in Quebec. There, there's uh, there's not many. So uh, they're uh, so uh, and they're and they're uh, talking uh, to to add some more OBS, especially in the Saint Hubert, uh, which is on the shore, uh, south uh, south shore of Montreal. So uh, as well. So and we, you saw the uh, the announcement, uh, the almost three hundred million dollars from uh, Boeing. Uh, I think that was on Monday. Uh, so Boeing's coming also in in Quebec. The industry gets even bigger and yeah, better for bigger you. Bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. Uh, we've concentrated most of this talk on the the foothills. Yeah. Um, but you have two other projects, and you've got plans for this summer and fall. Uh, what's going to happen in your two other projects? Yeah, I, I just I'm on a road show right now, and I was explaining to my friend in Scandinavia that uh, we're uh, we will get and probably this afternoon we will have the announcement from the government of Quebec that we're uh, we're getting a half of million grant 
to help us to produce uh, some uh, samples from the Crevier project. So Crevier project is a niobium and, and tantalum project. And uh, and what we're uh, the so 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 the work that we're planning to start this summer with SGS, uh, they have a huge lab in Quebec City. So we're gonna bring uh, eight tons of rock from that project, and we will process that rock at the at a quite a big scale, and uh, so that. That way, we're going to be able to produce some samples for future clients. So that's one thing for for uh, for Grevier. and that's that should start uh, the kickoff meeting. Is supposed to be on the twenty first of June, uh, and then uh, James Bay. James Bay is not dead. Uh, they uh, they have a special meeting May thirtieth at uh, Mo uh, Moose Factory. Uh, so uh, the there's they're gonna hold uh, they're gonna hold a, a, a special meeting only on Niobe. So there was people from the community asking the chief and council why Niobe, Niobe is not back and they, they are not doing their their drilling. They're not finishing their drilling program. So they're gonna have a discussion internally on May thirtieth. So that. That's pretty promising because uh, lots of people thought that the the that this project was dead, but it is not. So uh, so they they they're doing uh they're doing uh, this special meeting and uh, and we will see how it goes. So uh, so the, the lots like I said, my uh, there's there's been a lot of good news since the beginning of the, of this year, and I, I'm expecting some more good news before the uh, the end of uh, 2024 yeah. that that's exciting that's the one thing about good news is it seems to build on itself you know you get one positive thing after another after another i don't know why it's always like that when it's not going well everything's go wrong <laughs> yeah and, and then this year i don't know it's just one after one after one so uh I, I'm very happy. I'm very happy, and we, I think we the, the the crew, the team, the board deserve that because we uh, we had a pretty tough year uh, last year, and now uh, I think we we see the sunshine. Well, they, they always say it's darkest before the dawn. So <laughs> this uh, looking forward to uh, an exciting summer. Lots of things happening. Uh, look forward to having you back on here as we uh, we watch this thing uh, progress and roll out. I will, Mike. Thanks very much for joining me. Thank you. Nile Bay Metals is a paid sponsor of the Prospector News. The Prospector News podcast is for educational purposes only. The opinions expressed are those of the participants and are not to be taken as investment advice. Listeners need to do their own due diligence and seek advice of a licensed investment advisor.